Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around in Iron Bull by Northstar DTG 14 7 by 14 gooseneck dump. This particular trailer is a 14,000 pound GVW. It's got the optional four foot high side along with the gooseneck coupler. The trailer weighs in about 5,100 pounds empty giving a net legal payload of about 8,900 pounds plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's going to pick up roughly another 2,500 to 3,000 pounds, depending on how you load it. So we're going to take a walk around the trailer, show you some of the standard features as well as the options that we've equipped on this particular unit. So I'll show you some of the outside. From the side shot there, you're looking, Iron Bull does a little bit heavier trailer overall than some of our other manufacturers. They use a uh, 10 gauge sidewall and floor. You'll notice toward the top of the sidewall, they do an integrated keyway or body stiffener that uh, give it a lot of additional strength. They also use a double broke tread plate fender with the fender gussets. Gives a lot of support, a little bit stronger than the single broke fenders. And then the sidestep uh, kind of comes in handy on a high side like this. So there's a better look at the integrated body stiffener that they do. Now some manufacturers are starting to put this on, but the ones that do generally uh, welded on. This here is keyed in. It's fabbed in. You also notice going down the side you've got stake pockets then you've got all these little hooks or what we call J-hooks. They're for uh, bunging down a tarp kit. So speaking of tarp kits, these guys do a real nice integrated kit. See there it's got a ball bearing set with a spring loaded handle. You notice it's self-contained. We really like that instead of being a scabbed on add-on it's an integrated system. Very nice. <coughs> they do dual jacks uh, standard also notice a little detail uh, they do they're the only one I've seen that currently does this anyway is the ball bearing set with a grease dirt on it handy little touch also notice they use an I-beam mainframe and then this has an I-beam vertical and an I-beam neck as well they also do your neck gusset you notice there they CNC would in the Iron Bull logo kind of neat these are what we'd refer to as a banjo eye. So banjo eye typically used to use chain to strap something down. You can also put a uh, J hook in there if you want to tie something or even a bungee as well. So you've got LED sealed beam lights. And again, as we said earlier, there's an I beam mainframe going back. We'll put the dump up here in a second, show you that I beam frame. These guys also do a nice job with the pinstriping on the trailer. Notice they pinstripe around their logo. Now they box out, instead of just a chain holder, they've actually got an under neck gusset. It's kind of a slick uh, idea. These guys do a good job at, uh, at uh, adding function to style. That's one of the places where it's both functional, it's structural, <laughs> and it gives a little bit of style. So kudos to them on that. Sealed wiring harness standard. Again, we said the gooseneck coupler. It's a spring-loaded latch system. <laughs> Use your zinc plated safety chains up front they've got a front full width toolbox or they've got the uh, 110 volt charger built-in standard this is a power up power down hydraulic again the dual jacks and then they've got the interstate deep cycle marine battery this is a high capacity group 24 notice there upside down it says 140 rc so it's a high capacity they do an integrated circuit breaker. Notice on the, the uh, positive terminal there, they put the cover on for protection. It's a power up, power down hydraulic pump. You can tell from the two different solenoids there. And then you've got the rest of the box to throw in um, extra fluid, chains, whatnot, or straps. <clears throat> we'll put this trailer up, show you some more of the unit. So they do a sealed wiring harness, so your harness is all a sealed molded, everything's clipped back. <coughs> Again, 12K jacks are standard, they've got the grease zerts built in. <coughs> Up in the neck, you've got a spare tire carrier. <coughs> okay, focus back underneath here, we've got a 516 scissor hoist. For those not familiar, 516 scissor We've tested to about 7.9 tons locally at the quarry. If you're very, <laughs> if you're very tongue heavy, you're only going to get about 6.9 ton. Irregardless, both are well in excess of what the trailer's legally rated for. So 
So now we've got the I-beam frame. This is a six inch, 12 foot pound I-beam frame. Take you around underneath. Trailer is powder coated. Use a Sherwin-Williams powder coat. Notice too on the scissor, they use box, not a channel or an angle. Then they do a double six inch channel header on the hoist. Coming back, they're using the slipper spring suspension. Dexter brand axles, 7,000 pound axles with the Easy Loop hubs. Go with a little bit heavier duty, 9 16th inch lug. It's got the new Ford adjusting brakes. Also standard would be a 235 ADR 16 load range E 10 ply tire and a slipper spring suspension. Also notice this trailer is roughly level even with it all the way up. It's got plenty of ground clearance. <clears throat> this 516 scissor is going to net about a 45 degree angle or just a touch above. Plenty of angle for getting your material out. Now, Iron Bull chooses to go with a little bit heavier bed frame than some. This is a six inch tube uh, subframe or bed frame. Uh, I've seen in the industry on trailers this size anywhere from a three inch, four inch, or a six inch, and very occasionally a five inch frame. They go with the six. Now, another difference on Iron Bull, you'll notice uh, the floor cross members look a little bit, little bit different. And they use a fabricated runner. It's a ramp holder slash a structural uh, component of the trailer. So in lieu of regular cross members, they've gone with this design. Very slick. Uh, I saw this about three years ago when they first started uh, making these. Seems like a very smart idea. <clears throat> Notice there they've got the structural channel also mounted on the inside of that runner. You can see it here and then on the far side there. Put undermount ramps. They're roughly an 80-inch ramp. Again, they do the heavier double broke fenders. 10 gauge side with the integrated keyway. The one thing I failed to show you on this, but if you check some of our other videos, they do an auto latch system there that's pretty slick. You open up your cam bar lock, you swing it around, it auto latches. Very, very slick uh, idea they got. Standard uh, hinges with grease zerts. Now, a couple things. This gate is thicker than many we've seen. It's also built a little bit heavier. You'll notice the side framing on these instead of fab steel is all made out of box. Again, where it comes together there is all box tube framing as well. Also notice the ramps are fully adjustable. You can get almost full adjustment out of those. Traditionally, they do a 10 gauge sidewall floor. So from the top of the wall to the center of the floor there would all be one piece. Now this being a high side, of course they gotta do them a little bit different. <laughs> One thing that's important to note as well, they run their seams parallel to the trailer, not perpendicular. Generally speaking on trade-ins, we've seen to see that the uh, ones that run parallel just seem to stay a little bit less warped over time. Could be my imagination, but that's an observation from probably 50 to 100 dumps we've had traded in over the years. This is the 10 gauge, which is pretty well industry standard. Some use an 11. And then very occasionally we have one manufacturer we carry that uses seven, but they're the exception to the rule. Four D-rings are in the corners. Notice they put them in the very corner. Some put them up the sidewall just a little bit out of the way. Some keep them in 10 inches. They put them in the very, very corner. So again, a trailer like this with the goose is going to net you about 9,000 pounds plus your tongue weight. So you're going to get maxed out maybe 12,000 pounds in this. I say maybe because it really depends how you load the trailer. Something like this with the high sides, we recommend more for framing lumber, drywall debris, leaves, mulch, shingle debris. Stuff that's got a 20 to 30 pound per cubic foot weight, not stone, sand, concrete debris, that's gonna weigh more like 85 to 150 pound per cubic foot. Uh, trailer this size is gonna net you somewhere right around 14 yards. So again, you could load something like this up generally with framing lumber and mulch and that and fully utilize the full space of it. Now that said, if you occasionally want to haul stone, of course you can do that. You're just going to get a less than a full load. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring 717-220-4220.
or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks.